Okay, so now that Apple Intelligence is officially here, what can you actually do with it? In today's video, we're gonna take a look at some of the first things you should do right after you update to iOS 18.1 and Apple Intelligence. Now, Apple Intelligence, as I previously mentioned on some of my other videos, is only compatible with these devices on screen right now. So that will be the iPhone 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max, iPhone 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max. Now, obviously this also goes to iPads with M1 or later and Macs with M1 or later. Now, there's two things I recommend you do right after you update to iOS 18.1 in order to get better use of Apple intelligence. Number one, obviously you need to enable Apple intelligence. You'll get prompted after you update to 18.1, but if you did not set up the Apple intelligence throughout the iOS 18.1 setup process, you can always jump into settings and then go into Apple Intelligence and Siri. And right here, you can enable this toggle. And this will enable Apple Intelligence and download the Apple Intelligence to your device. Again, if you did not set it up on the setup process, you can do it manually just like so. And the second thing I recommend you do before we get to some of the first things you should try is enable the notification summaries and settings. So jump into settings, go under notifications, go under summarize previews, and right here you'll get a toggle or multiple toggles to control the notification summaries. You can enable all apps together or individually and this will give you a preview or summarize the notifications on your iPhone which is an extremely awesome useful feature with Apple intelligence okay so now let's talk about the first things you should do with Apple intelligence running iOS 18.1 but before we get to that I wanted to share a quick word from our sponsor today's video sponsor is reflex now reflex brings professional long exposure photography to iPhone users without the need of a tripod with their app reheld and now the application is extremely simple to use you have your settings you have your dial for the exposure time you have the timer here and you have the ability to choose different lenses from wide to ultra wide to telephoto and obviously you also have your shutter here's a beautiful shot of a 30 second exposure from the lake you can see the details and the plants and the water the app does an excellent job at stability here's another one second exposure at night taking advantage of the iphone's hdr i think the results look amazing here's some additional shots taken with the reheld application for iPhone and as you can see here these photos look amazing and all these pictures were taken without the need of a tripod so make sure you head on over to Facebook and join Reflex Piazza and join the group and share your best photos taken with the reheld application don't forget to download reheld links will be available for you guys in the description down below and thank you to Reflex for sponsoring today's video so the first new feature I want to talk about is the new Siri this was highly anticipated and long awaited the new Siri UI when you press on the side button, you now get the new Siri UI with the new Apple Intelligent Chime. Hear this. So yeah, you get a new Chime and you get a new Siri UI, which a lot of customers were looking forward to. This was on all of Apple's promotion for the iPhone 16. But Siri is also smarter and she will continue to get smarter as Apple continues to build upon Apple intelligence. Now, two of the main functions on the latest iOS 18.1 is Siri does two things. Number one, she can understand if you stumble upon your words. And number two, she can actually tell you how to do things on your phone. So let me give you two examples here of that. So how do I set a reminder? Here's how to set a reminder. First, open the Reminders app. Second, tap the plus button in the top right corner. Third, enter the details of your reminder, including the time, date, and location. And there you guys have it. That is how to get Siri to actually tell you how to do something on your phone she actually uses the iphone user guide to explain features on your device now the second thing as i mentioned she can also understand if you stumble upon your words so i'm going to pretend to stumble upon my words while i ask for the weather to see how she reacts what's going to be the weather in miami florida today i meant tampa florida Expect cloudy sky looks like it will be cloudy in tampa florida today as you can see right there, she started giving me the weather for Miami, but then quickly switched over to the Tampa forecast. So yeah, Siri can understand if you stumble upon your words and she can show you how to do things on your iPhone. Now, Siri also got a new type to Siri function, which allows you to double tap on the bottom portion of your screen and you get the brand new Apple Intelligent Keyboard. And this is going to be extremely useful if you want to ask Siri something and you're in a loud environment where you can't use your voice. You can type in your question and as you type, you also get suggestions in order to get things done 
a lot quicker. Now, if this is not working for you initially, I've seen this happen before, you wanna make sure you go into settings, Apple intelligence, go into the type to Siri options, make sure you enable it and disable it or disable it and re-enable it and then restart your phone and you should be able to start using that new type to Siri, which is a really nice welcome addition to Siri as well. Now you can also do some really awesome things inside of the emails application with Apple intelligence as well. So we have three things here. We have smart replies. This obviously gives you suggestions in order to reply to emails a lot faster. You also have a message summary. If you have a long email, this will summarize it for you, cutting right to the chase and priority message, which surface the most important emails up to the top of the list. So for example, I had a flight here. You see that this email was all over my inbox and it pushed it all the way to the top because of course the flight was time sensitive. Now in order to enable this on your iPhone, you wanna go into the emails application, tap on the right hand corner and make sure you select the show the priority emails on the top and you're gonna love that feature for email. Now reduce interruption is a new focus mode that uses on device intelligence in order to determine how important a notification is. This is great for when you go to work or something like that. Only super important notifications will be delivered with reduced interruptions. Your iPhone will analyze the content within the notification and then you can go ahead and take a look if it's an emergency obviously it will deliver that notification. If it's something that's not important like a social media post or something like that that's not important then it won't surface. Now you can obviously go into settings here head on over into the focus options right here and you have the reduce interruption it is right there this new feature is available you can also enable it through the focus options and control center and now your iPhone will reduce those interruptions for you only delivering the most important notifications to your device. Now Apple intelligence is also available in the new photos application so we have several new options we have a smarter and improved search. We also have cleanup. Now cleanup is an Apple intelligent feature that allows you to remove, you know, objects from the background of photos, cleaning up your images. So if you have a photo, as you see here, I can go ahead and click edit, click on the new cleanup tool option right here. And then Apple intelligent will highlight the people and the, you know, things around the actual subject. And you can remove them by simply tapping or brushing them away. Super useful feature in the photos application with Apple intelligence, as you just saw there, it removed that person from the background of my photo. Now there's also some new capabilities inside of photos here as well. Let me go ahead and go back into the photos section here. We also have the ability to create memories with descriptions. So you can create a memory by simply describing the in your iPhone will automatically create a memory based on the pictures that you capture at that specific moment in time, or you can use any other description. So Apple intelligence definitely taken advantage of a lot of the new Apple intelligent capabilities in photos. Inside of messages, you'll also notice some new Apple intelligent features. You have smart replies. So as you text with someone, you'll see Apple intelligence suggestions for smart replies and you have message summaries as well. So when you get those notifications, if it's a long message, it will summarize it for you as well. And then we have the writing tools, writing tools are also available within iOS 18.1 and Apple intelligence. You can choose from different types of writing tools available at your disposal within iOS 18.1. Here's a paragraph that I wrote, as you can see right here, I can long press, go ahead and select that paragraph, go ahead and use the writing tools here, and they'll be available at my disposal from friendly to professional to concise. I can go ahead and do professional here, and it will change that entire paragraph to look and sound a bit more professional as you can see right there. So take a look at that. So thank you for watching this video, guys. This is just a few things I think everyone should look into and do right after the update to iOS 18.1 and things you can do with Apple Intelligence. Let me know if you're enjoying this update so far. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.